basically, uh, when you make bananas faster, uh, it really, it's very few ingredients, and a lot of people really like it very much, and it's a very easy dish to prepare. Uh, you really don't need more than one pat of butter to, to cook this dish, unless, of course, you're doing it for 20 or 30 people. But basically, it's one pat of butter, and it's, it's two tablespoons per person. Now, since I'm making it for you all over here, I've got it exactly oh. measured. Ah. There. And so, I put, uh, I put the sugar in with the butter, and I add just a bit of banana liqueur to start. And the only reason I add the banana liqueur, it's to help me break the sugar down. Uh, until I basically get a consistency of a loose toothpaste. Yeah. And we know individuals that uh, eat toothpaste. And yeah, well, yeah, that too. And, and Charles, and, when, you, when you make this light brown sugar or dark brown sugar? You, uh, you can use both. Uh, this is the pan we use for bananas. I mean, you can use a round pan. You can use really anything you have at home. If you want to make it at home, uh, it's... Uh, it does, it does not, uh, you know, it does not require this kind of a pad. But basically, all you need is a, a some kind of a pad in which you can uh, cook and uh, it doesn't uh, burn your sugar at the bottom. And as you see, I normally cook everything on a high fire because uh, given that you have people and you have waiting, waiting for it to be served, uh, you, you've got to you've got to put it out as fast as you can. Is this so, the first time you've ever made this? Uh, the first time today, yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How yes, many sir. would you say you have done in your career? Well, I've I've been at this job for approximately 27 years, wow. and I do it wow. on the average about five times a night, and uh, so you can figure out. Uh, how many times I've done it over the years? Well, many, many no, no, I can't because I can't count that high. Okay. So, now that I've got everything in the pan, I added the bananas. And normally, uh, half a banana per person should be enough. You can either cut them in quarters, the banana in quarters, or you can take the whole banana and, and cut it into small rings, and that's fine too. It's just a question of presentation. And then you add Myers rum. Normally, if you're doing it just for two people, your Myers rum count is 1,002, 1,003, 1,004 uh, for two people. Uh, you just increase that a bit as, as you're preparing the dish. And you add uh, the banana liqueur. Oh. Not too much banana liqueur. You really don't need it because the bananas there provide you with the taste. As you see, it catches on fire quite fast. And with that, as it's flaming, you sprinkle some cinnamon. And uh, it, the show is much nicer at nighttime because you see the sparkles more. But uh, believe me, the taste is the same. Wow, that's the eyes of the spirit world yeah. times 10,000. And, and as you're cooking this dish, uh, there's two things that you should always remember. That uh, you don't want to cook your bananas to a point where uh, they become like baby food. Uh, you're, you have to remember you're serving, you're pouring this stuff on vanilla ice cream. So the ice cream in itself is already soft enough. So it's, it's just kind of nice having a different kind of consistency there. And that's why uh, you, you're careful in when you're preparing this dish is if you receive bananas that are very ripe, you just, you just cook them very short period of time. If on the other hand, if your bananas are green or almost green, then you cook them at a much longer time. Man, the smell, my friends, I right. wish. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it, you're hearing it. It's, the smell is amazing though, isn't it, Chef Ron? I mean, it, it's already getting over my pink man in Jersey. I mean, the drool is just, it's hideous. It, it, it's a very distinctive smell. 
of Bananas Foster and, and what makes this dish at Arno's that much better. Th there's several must things to do in New Orleans. One, of course, is eating in Arno's. The other is absolutely without a doubt. If Charles is not working that night, change your reservations to when he is or James and have one of the two major D's make your Bananas Foster. James Cafe Brulot, Charles Bananas Foster, you, you will have the food gasm like you will never experience anywhere else in this city. And the class and the beautiful, beautiful chandeliers and the hand laid tile floors and all the servers in starch jackets. I mean, this is a place you come to find out what true fine dining New Orleans style is all about. Just a little side note, Charles is finishing up and he realized he didn't have spoons. So because Charles is the man, what's he do? That's executive Tom, chef Tommy D and Giovanni. Give me some spoons. Tommy and he did it. on my way. <laughs> well, when the maitre d' speaks, uh, you well, listen. Not just standard maitre d', when it's Sir Charles. Charles, this dish is a classic New Orleans dish. And yet, I've seen it done a hundred times. But your explanation, the way in which you did it, this makes it very, very special. This is why you come to Arno's. If you want to eat New Orleans food, there's a gazillion places to go. If you want to have the classiest, traditional, done better than anywhere, you need to come to Arno's. That's what it's all about. Charles, thank you so much. We can hardly, oh, we're going yeah. to have to wrap this up so we can eat. Uh, yeah, the, ice cream yeah, most the one thing I just wanted to say, if you ever try to do this at home, the, my, my teacher who taught me how to make bananas faster always used to tell the guests, the guests, he says, if you want to make this at home, Make sure the two things, that you have high ceilings and very good fire insurance. <laughs> <laughs>